Good morning, Andrew Schneider here from Pompano. Uh, we're gonna be boarding the Azimuth 66 this morning. This happens to be home number 98, a 2020 model, just arrived. And we're gonna, in a uh, short format, show you the many features that are representative not only of the 66, but probably the entire Azimuth 50, uh, uh, entire Azimuth uh, Flybridge range. So uh, welcome aboard. We're gonna start right here on the trend, uh, swim platform where we have uh, several features. All of our Azimuth flies feature hydraulic platforms as part of our package. Uh, great side steps here when boarding. If you don't need to use the uh, side boarding gates, we can easily enter and uh, board the boat when side two or stern two. Really nice feature. It's not just a small step, but something that's two and a half, three feet long. Uh, of course, we feature a gangway built in internally on the boat, as well as your entrance to your crew cabin. Uh, crew back cabin works well here because you have two bunks and um, also has a head in there, full head, so people swimming, hanging out, uh, obviously uh, not ready for show today, but uh, a good spot to use for a shower and uh, toiletry when swimming and everyone's on the, uh, on the beach. So as we go up into the cockpit, there's some key features that kind of separate Azimuth from the group. Uh, can easily be duplicated, but note, uh, handling the boat, your uh, uh, cleats, dock lines, waist high, easy to handle. Husband and wife team should uh, really appreciate this uh, aspect of the boat. Uh, also in the cockpit, uh, some other key features are, we've gone to synthetic tables, uh, making maintenance and ease and care uh, simple. A uh, great feature and it's throughout the whole boat, both in the F cockpit as well as the flybridge and bow area. And great, also notice as we go through the boat today, and I'll point it out a couple of times, great attention to detail on the height of our cushions and the, le the length of our uh, settee. So something as simple as this little C-shaped couch now can all be the easy lounge conversion that people can hang. Notice that cushions are built at the right height. Again, look at the competitors, look what we offer. Easily duplicated, but we focus on this on every model we build. Right uh, height for your arm as well. So whether it's dining or whether it's just chilling out under this full extended hardtop, also as we look at the entire Flybridge range, that there's a signature of azimuth, whether it's a small 50 footer or our largest boats, uh, with a full hardtop, full width, giving maximum uh, coverage over the cockpit area, whether uh, hanging, chilling, or dining. Uh, needless to say, there's other areas on the boat where there's 100% uh, sun. Um, obviously, a wet bar refrigeration area with a sink works well. And let's go inside. Before we go upside, uh, Kelly's going to just quickly show you here the side rails, um, the walkways. We'll go to the bow in a little while. But while we're entering the inside, count the number of stainless steel stanchions you see it on the side of an azimuth. We generally run between 25 and 30% more in stainless in our side rails versus our competitors. That's just one small thing that you can uh, analytically look at and add to the value of our boat. Also, all Azimuth flies come with uh, substantial uh, side boarding gates, making side entry simple. That's an Azimuth standard. Let's go inside. We've got this great triple door. Again, not exclusive to us, but something we execute really well. In the cockpit, you can easily uh, open it up and have this great open feeling into your salon. So just quickly here, a couple features. Obviously, we've chosen a, uh, a fabric couch in this particular model, but uh, note that uh, we offer over 30 leathers and over 200 fabrics when uh, putting your fingerprint on your own build. Uh, this is just an example of some of the uh, little detail that you get with an azimuth. Anyway, the 66 model is our first boat that features four staterooms. So this is a four stateroom boat, so it's a good family boat. It's certainly an owner-operator boat. Um, this is the first boat that we put a lot of attention towards uh, lighting and lamps and uh, different LED effects. So you'll see the benefit of that as we quickly walk through the interior. So great main salon. Up, simple features like uh, central vac all exist on the boat. Like all the Marie Max product from Azimuth, this is a fully equipped, maximized boat with uh, virtually every feature on it, uh, which is uh, Marie Max's way of presenting the luxury brand. So here we've chosen a white countertop and sta some stainless steel fridges. 
Obviously, the galley in this boat is a very social area of the boat. Uh, full ac eye access to your uh, salon as well as your dining area. Brand new for this particular model was this beveled uh, table we did. Uh, kind of a sharp looking piece, certainly uh, the bases and everything. Also being glass creates more space, so um, really nice look. The nice addition on the 66, again when you go from 60 to 66 we gain that fourth stateroom. But you also gain this what we call the American bar area, which really works out well. Uh, if someone is in the galley they certainly have some uh, people hanging out with the two stools. And then in addition, a nice feature is there's always those days where it's too hot or too cold that the stools spin around. And now between the two seats here facing forward and our custom helm area, uh, we can have four adults facing forward and uh, being out of the weather, whether it's hot or cold, uh, they can chill here and have full uh, availability. So as I mentioned, with the luxury product, we've gone maximum with uh, the Raymarine packages. Um, all of our boats, this is a beautifully done flush mount glass application bow and stern thrusters, uh, full joystick, keeping in line that the Azimut Flybridge range was the first range in the boating industry to uh, present full inline uh, shaft uh, joysticks, so a first. Of course, the boat is fully stabilized with Seakeeper, as is all Azimut uh, Marine Max product. Anyway, let's go down quickly. Let's uh, look at the four staterooms. You can just see the uh, workmanship here of just this uh, rail as you come down. Nicely done, leather wrapped. Uh, again, these are features that if you were building, you can choose. Um, the leathers and uh, different helm seat applications. But we do a good job and uh, we feel we know what we're doing. So coming down, uh, we'll show you the uh, small ones first and then we'll move up to the big. You have your uh, bunk bed cabin, uh, great for, uh, actually they're, they're fine for an adult, but uh, great for two kids. And as Kelly comes around the corner, you'll see that each uh, bunk bed has its own, in, uh, own uh, flat screen TV so that there's no conflict on whose bed is better. And uh, we'll leave that up to the, uh, the parents. So. Obviously that uh, bunk bed cabin shares uh, the, the day head and the, uh, the third head. Moving forward, well, let's go to starboard first is your other guest cabin. So two twins, fairly common uh, setup, but uh, well done, well executed. You can see the Silvani uh, touches with the decor and the, the brushed oaks. And then of course, uh, the VIP, which, uh, Osmond always does an amazing job with storage. Again, uh, they focus on it as well as they do cushion heights. They focus on storage and the boat is equipped with, here's a VIP with four overhead lockers, two hanging lockers and storage underneath the berth. So plenty of storage. Very clean, the decor on the boat is clean. Uh, uh, three or four surfaces per cabin. Now let's head down to the master. So this is one of the areas that separates uh, the new 2020 model from uh, previous models. So uh, we made a couple changes. Uh, Asmit was happy to do it for Marie Max. Previously, we always had the TV mounted on the wall, which was kind of a B application. So they uh, designed this beautiful piece of furniture. Uh, aesthetically goes with the whole decor of the boat and our arches um, as additional storage as well but more importantly encompasses the TV and a look that you would expect of uh, our brand. Here, in changing that, they were also, instead of a step-in, they created a walk-in locker. So at 66 feet, we feature a full step-in locker with shelves and hanging area and plenty of room for uh, shoes. So two changes made for Marie Max and certainly accepted in every other part of the world. And then the big change that Marie Max did here is when the boat was built, see how much we can capture this on uh, tape, but when the boat was built, obviously the cabinet ended here. So we said, let's, let's, let's increase the storage. Let's make this head for the second home concept, the best head, master head with storage. So just count the areas of storage in this boat in one area. It's like a pleasure to show this boat because no one expects it.
pretty good. And then if you roll up your towels and put them on the shelf, uh, more than enough for anything that you possibly need for a second home concept. Also, again, you can see we've uh, done some beautiful stonework, beveled edge. So a great feature of the boat is this master in a four stateroom boat, giving you uh, great storage, a new look. And of course, with the furniture change, besides the wood tonations, this creation of this walk-in closet and uh, better uh, TV uh, is a reason to look at a 2020. Also, our attention to the lamps and details on the boat, as I mentioned up top in the salon. Uh, a lot of thought. Just one more note here, we do have a, an additional storage behind the full length mirror here. In addition to all of our berths, generally feature storage. Um, all AV is done at the factory, so this is a boat that came off the ship like this, so your, in this case, the subwoofer for the Bose is uh, easily seen and easily uh, accessible. More importantly, it's done when we get it from the factory which includes it in our three-year warranty from Peace of Mind from Azimut, so another great feature. There's a, there's a Sony product probably with a two-year warranty, but because it's on our yacht from Azimut, uh, it comes with a three-year. So let's go back up top. Mealy our appliances, so port and starboard, full washer-dryer. So yes, central vac, washer-dryer, Mealy appliances, all those luxury features are on board the uh, 66. So two other great areas to see quickly. We want to see the flybridge and see why Asmund has been the leader in flybridge designs for the last two decades. And we continue that, uh, the lead in that uh, segment. And then we'll visit the bow. So keep in mind the advantage of this uh, large overhang and this large um, ceiling in the... Uh, Cockpit also has the benefit of giving us the largest uh, square footage on the flybridge for uh, furniture. I mean, this is an area of the boat that speaks for itself. 66 feet with the style of furniture of a uh, small mega yacht. Uh, Freestanding, so floating looking. Again, the repeat of the synthetic stones, um, but a real cushy look. Again, multiple purpose for a, a couch, easy to sit and talk and entertain, but also simple to become that instant lounge for uh, entertaining in the back. Now, keep in mind, you're at 66 feet and you're going to on a 66 flybridge with three tables and there's no sense of being crowded at all. It just works on the boat. So here's your uh, Flybridge dining table. Obviously, the cockpit chairs can come up here if you want to sit full round. Again, the synthetics. Uh, your Kenyan barbecue. Got to give a little pitch here. The, the barbecue that's on this boat is here because it works. This is a unit that will hit uh, almost 600 degrees in a very short time. So a uh, great product throughout the azimuth range. And then, of course, you have your uh, full bar setup. So think, fridge in the F cockpit, fridge on the flybridge, double, uh, triple fridge in the uh, galley. Good refrigeration on board. Another quick note, nice feature of the boat, the, seamless, the frameless hatch. There's no white pitting, bubbling uh, frame around it, but it's what we call a frameless hatch. It's a good look and it uh, requires less maintenance. So again, table number two, and then here, number table number three, another area here. You can envision people just sit laying out while you're, while you're running the boat, or this table comes up for a, you know, a little cocktail, keeping the captain company. All of our flies we build uh, from uh, 55, uh, 60 feet and up with dual helm seats. So uh, again, a repeat of our great lower helm and two custom seats uh, made specifically for azimuth. This is a beta line fabric on the outside of the cushion and uh, comes in several different colors. So again, uh, if we don't have that right boat and that right combination in stock, that's something that we can uh, do, uh, do with you. So one more area of the boat to see, it's the, uh, the bow area. Uh, again, a leader, but I'm gonna ask Kelly to stand up here and shoot aft because again, if you look at the square footage, 
in the amount of people that a 66 flybridge can handle uh, and do it in a nice and a luxurious way, uh, it's exceptional. So uh, it's a real, real leader why, uh, reason why this boat is a leader in its category and the number one in sales. I'd be uh, a shame if I didn't point out that, in, uh, again, my opinion, but my opinion does hold some weight, uh, we make the best looking hardtop in the industry. The radiuses, they're smooth, they're sexy, they're, their style put them in, they function for AV, and of course they function for lighting as well. So let's go down, we'll uh, check out the bow, and then uh, we'll go, go boating. Count the stanchions, amazing. Keep in mind that we're not only talking quality, we're talking about a stanchion that is stylish too. So it's not only the fact that we maybe put more, but uh, we did put some effort and time into designing it to make it look like an azimuth stanchion. So this is the uh, last area of the boat we're gonna look at today. Um, one feature of all azimuths is our design of our foredeck area. Uh, the style of our bow allows for 30% uh, more standing space uh, when handling ground tackle and when handling the anchor and uh, mooring line. So that's a real nice feature. You can see the amount of space I have here. Um, coupled with, we were a leader in the industry with our bow design and this is just, again, easily duplicated, but uh, we do it and we do it well on every boat. A great lounging area with electric bimini and uh, of course a sun pad area. So easily an area that can handle uh, six or eight people. Um, so this was the Azimuth 66. It's the leader in, in its class. Uh, just quickly, it does a, a boat that can top out at 33 knots. It's powered with Caterpillar 1150 cats, Sea Keeper, um, 21 kW generator. So all the right features means that this is a 26 knot boat all day long, easy, simple cruise. And that's what we can offer to our customers. So again, Andrew Schneider here at Pompano. We're aboard the uh, Azimuth 66. Come and uh, visit us.